As a founder, I'm always wondering if my team is doing the tasks that I want them to do. Are they focusing on the things that will help us reach my goals? When I think about this, the first thing that comes to mind is my long-term goal. Where do I want to be in, say, 10 years? In order to get where I want to be in 10 years, the first thing I need to do is make sure everyone knows what that goal is. Do I want to sell the company? Pass it to my kids? Grow it? Once the team knows where we're going long term, then we can break the goals down into shorter time frames. Five years, one year, quarterly. For example, if I'm going to sell the company in 10 years, what do I need to have accomplished in five years to be able to reach my 10-year goal? Do I need to build out my management team? How big do my sales need to be at that point? Are there tax or legal issues that must be dealt with? Similarly, the goals break down into three-year, one-year, and quarterly goals. Once I'm down to quarterly goals, I need to break these into pieces that can be handled by small groups, and then finally to individual people. When we write down each person's quarterly goals, this creates a great way to communicate the tasks to be accomplished for that period. Now, when I talk to the people on my team each day, I have a fantastic opportunity to give them lots of behavioral feedback. Structured behavioral feedback will mostly be positive as people move forward on their goals. So, for example, on sales goals, when people make their sales calls and complete the tasks on their to-do list each day, I can tell them how the tasks lead to their success for their quarterly goals and how that success leads to success for the whole company. And, of course, this is an opportunity to thank them for this contribution. This positive reinforcement only encourages your people to work harder that day and the next day towards your goals, whether that is to sell your business or to grow your business or to pass it to the next generation. So to recap, set and share your long-term goal, break it down into smaller time frame goals until you get to quarterly goals for each person. Then give as much positive behavioral feedback as possible keep everyone moving towards your goals. What is your long-term goal? To learn more about tools to help you set long-term goals and give effective behavioral feedback, visit www.abundant.com, follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, or your so favorite social media platform.